Congresswoman Nicole Melitakis, uh, who joins us right now. Um, first off, uh, Congressman, always good to have you, but I know you had tested positive for COVID. How are you doing now? I'm, I'm doing well. I had a couple of days of mild symptoms, uh, but I feel, I feel good today, and uh, all's all right. Thank you, Neil. That's good to hear. It's amazing how far this spread, right, and all of that. Um, first off, uh, on COVID, if I could still relate to that, the, the, there are a number of cities and states, businesses that are taking precautionary restrictive efforts, some more sweeping than others, and nothing like we're seeing in places like Thailand and Japan, where they're all but locking down again. Um, what do you think of some of these reactions to a virus that is certainly contagious but does not appear... Uh, to be overly dangerous? Well, look, it certainly seems that those who are vaccinated, like myself, are experiencing uh, just mild symptoms. I think it's really important that we focus on uh, treatments and therapeutics. Um, I, I've been opposed to mandates and lockdowns, uh, and I think that we should be moving more and more in that direction. I'm pleased to see that the FDA has started uh, to approve some of the medication. Uh, my doctor had put me on just a, a couple of series of, of things that are used for other uh, treatments, like, you know, antibiotics, Pepsid, uh, and certain vitamins that have made me feel better within just a couple of days. And so um, I, I don't want to have an overreaction. I think instead it's time for us to start moving forward in the directions of treatment, get the monoclonal antibodies and other uh, drips that are available to help people feel better uh, in the fir very first days, early stages. Um, let me ask you a little bit about what the president was saying on ABC News about revisiting Build Back Better, uh, maybe working with uh, Joe Manchin uh, to come up with sort of a priority list um, of the things that are important and maybe needed to get done, uh, even though progressives might not flip over it. Where do you think this thing is going? Well, look, I think it's clear that Build Back Better is dead. And when I came on your show uh, last month, I said that once we passed infrastructure, that the spotlight was going to go on the BBB and that it would die because this is a bad bill that we cannot afford. All the new entitlement programs, the welfare without work requirements at a time when we need people to be producing and reporting to work, um, the, the expansion of the IRS, the amnesty, very, things that are very unpopular with the American people. So it'll be interesting to see what parts they're going to try to continue to push. But I think Joe Manchin is right in standing up against them and saying at this time of inflation, it is not the right time or it should be the right time, period, to be introducing socialism in the United States of America. And I'm also deeply concerned about those in Congress who are saying that the president should act unilaterally. You know, we are an elected body. This is a representative democracy. We should not be talking like that here in the United States of America. That talk is for something you would hear in my mother's homeland of Cuba. Um, so what I would say is let's move forward um, and let's talk about the real issues that people are hurting right now over the economy, over energy prices. We need to become more energy independent in this country. We need to bring our supply chain home. That is clear. Uh, COVID taught us one thing. It's that. Um, and we also need to secure our border, restore public safety. People are concerned about crime across America's cities as well. Real quickly, um, do you suspect any of your Republican colleagues now uh, think there's a possibility that the size of this thing could be sharply reduced or uh, certainly some of the more objectionable features that they didn't like might not be included, that, that, that one or two could be peeled off to support this uh, in, in the House? It's hard to say what may happen if the bill is a totally different bill. What we do know is that Build Back Better is dead, and that's a tremendous feat for the Republicans who unanimously voted against it in the House. But, Neil, also other victories. We stopped the anti-police measures this year. We stopped the radical election law changes, the t attempt to use taxpayer money to fund campaigns, to take qualified immunity from our police officers. And let's not forget Jerry Nadler's packing the court bill. Those were the priorities of the Democratic Party at the beginning of the year. We've been able to stop that uh, when we work together. So I, I think we've done a good job, and we need to continue that uh, next year going into re-election uh, and making sure we take back the House so that way we have a balance. That's what we need. You know it as a New Yorker. We need balance in government, not one-party rule. We'll watch it closely. Congresswoman, great seeing you. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Glad you're on the bend. Uh, Nicole Maladakis, the New York uh, Congresswoman, uh, giving us a good read.